I am astrologist Mona Magistus, meaning the great astrologist Mona. If it is divination you seek from me, then I ask you respect my name by learning it wholly, here and now. Divination is about precisely foretelling one's written destiny. Over-embellishing that fate only leads to misconception. Astrologers must rid themselves of material desires. Only by ridding oneself of clutter can one see the true world around them. Fate is called as such, for it cannot be changed, nor can it be reversed. It can only but be accepted. With rain this heavy, not only are the stars clouded, so too is my scryglass hazy. Which of the starry skies do these thunderbolts fall from? One need not scry to know today's weather will be good. The pure waters of melted snow are optimal for hydromancy. Your arrival is untimely. The morning star has just waned. Breakfast? No, I... I've already eaten. Noon is upon us. We should eat. Hmm. I? I will have a salad, for simplicity is the way of the astrologer. Nightfall has arrived. I will soon be able to begin my divination. Uh, hmm. Did I finish writing my astrology column last night? It's already so late, and I'm no further along on finishing tomorrow's astrology column. What? You're off to sleep. Hmm. I wish I could sleep now, too. The work of the astrologer is to show people what fate has in store for them, and that's exactly what I do. There will always be those, however, who are unable to accept what they're told. Why do I write reports rather than using my divination to earn Mora? I would never use hydromancy for the sake of Mora, nor did I learn hydromancy for that purpose. You want to chat? For fun? Oh, I don't usually have spare time for such activities, especially when I have so many columns left to write. Then again, since it's you, it might be worth it. <laughs> a change of pace once in a while isn't such a bad thing. My hobby, stargazing. In this all-too-real world in which we live, we all need to look up from the dust once in a while and fix our gaze on the stars in a spirit of wonder. <laughs> That, plus the whole thing about me being an astrologer. <sighs> the equipment repair bill is due, and so is the final payment for that celestial globe I ordered. Also, I still need to renew my journal subscriptions, not to mention pay the rent. Hmm, which one to prioritize? Ah, huh, I'll pay off the celestial globe first. If I leave it any longer, they'll sell out and then I'll never get my hands on one. Oh, salad. Salad is by far the best food in the world. Cheap to buy, easy to whip up, filling, and it's the most convenient thing there is when you're working on a column or fixing some equipment. I mean, who's got time for a proper dinner anyway? You know, all those overpriced fancy foods. Personally, I think it's uncivilized and frankly dangerous to splash out and indulge yourself every time you have a little hunger pang. Uh, so satisfied. Who would have thought knowing you would bear so many benefits? Just to be clear, you're sure I don't have to pay for any of this? I don't mean to nitpick or anything, it's just I haven't quite eaten enough. Happy birthday. Here's my gift to you. It's a bag containing some words of advice that may help you through tough patches. No, d don't open it yet. Uh, during the year ahead, this bag will open itself when the right time comes. This was ordained by fate. Long had I foreseen it. One step closer. Maybe soon I shall finally uncover the truth of this world. Let me scry. Shadows of fate delve into destiny. Fate is upon you. Written in the stars. Decided by destiny. Scry the sky. We could do with some more fortune. This should cover food and rent for a while. <sighs> Finding treasure is pretty exhilarating. My vision is clouded. Odious fate. This was not foretold. Do not tempt fate. This is not your destiny. The stars are fading. Destiny cannot be denied. My reckoning has come. Curses. Leave my
my space! This is destiny. This is how it must be. It is as the stars foretold. 